Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Today we're studying English with a short story. And the title of the story is Mom is sick in bed. Mom is sick in bed. First, listen to the audio. She calls her mom. Her mom is sick. She has the flu. She is in bed. She is old. She is alone. Her husband is dead. Nobody takes care of her. She does her own shopping. She drives her own car. She says that she is okay. She says she feels better. She thanks her daughter for calling. Now let us practice vocabulary. The first one, alone. Alone. And alone spells A-L-O-N-E, alone. Next one, better. Better. And better spells B-E-T-T-E-R, better. And next one, calling. Calling. And calling spells C A L L I N G, calling. Next one, daughter. Daughter. And daughter spells D A U G H T E R. So here, this G H is silent. It sounds like long R. Uh, you say daughter. And next one, dad. Dad. And dad spells D E A D, dad. And next one, drive. Drive and drive spells D R I V E, drive. Next one, husband. Husband. And husband spells H U S B A N D, husband. And next one, nobody. Nobody. Nobody spells N O. B O D Y, nobody. And next one, shopping. Shopping. And shopping spells S H O P P I N G, shopping. And next one, sick. Sick. And sick spells S I C K, sick. Alone, better, calling, daughter, dad. Drive, husband, nobody, shopping, sick. Now let us read the story. She calls her mom. Her mom is sick. She has the flu. She's in bed. She's old. She's alone. Her husband is dead. Nobody takes care of her. She does her own shopping. She drives her own car. She says that she's okay. She says she feels better. She thanks her daughter for calling. Okay, let's read the story one more time, and this time a little bit faster. She calls her mom. Her mom is sick. She has the flu. She's in bed. She's old. She's alone. Her husband is dead. Nobody takes care of her. She does her own shopping. She drives her own car. She says that she's okay. She says she feels better. She thanks her daughter for calling. Now let us practice past tense. The first one, call, is regular. C-A-L-L-E-D. You say called. Is. Was. Has or have. Had, is, was, was, and then one more, oh, there are two more was, and then take irregular, T-O-O-K, you say took, and does, D-I-D, did, drive irregular, D-R-O-V-E, drove, and says, S-A-I-D, 
and you read this as said, not said. And this one also, it is says, not says. And said, S A I D. And feel, felt. And thank, regular, T H A N K E D. And it sounds t, thanked. Okay, let's read the story in past tense. She called her mom. Her mom was sick. She had a flu. She was in bed. She was old. She was alone. Her husband was dead. Nobody took care of her. She did her own shopping. She drove her own car. She said that she's okay. She said she felt better. She thanked her daughter for calling. Now listen and repeat. She calls her mom. She calls her mom. She calls her mom. She has the flu. She has the flu. She has the flu. Nobody takes care of her. Nobody takes care of her. Nobody takes care of her. She does her own shopping. She does her own shopping. She does her own shopping. She thanks her daughter for calling. She thanks her daughter for calling. She thanks her daughter for calling. Okay, let's go back to the first sentence. She calls her mom. So you read this part together and then it is call and S sounds like Z calls. And then H is silent, put here, calls her. She calls her mom. She calls her mom. And she has the, has the, has, has the. She has the, she has the flu. She has the flu. And nobody takes care. So this one read together. It sounds like takes care. Takes care, nobody takes care. Nobody takes care of her. And then she does her. So does, she does, in H is silent. She does her. She does her own shopping. And she thanks her, thanks her. Thank, thank, and thanks. In H is silent, thanks her. She thanks her daughter for calling. Let's read the sentences one more time. She calls her mom. She calls her mom. She has the flu. She has the flu. Nobody takes care of her. Nobody takes care of her. She does her own shopping. She does her own shopping. She thanks the, she thanks her daughter for calling. She thanks her daughter for, for calling. She thanks her daughter for calling. Now let's read the audio one more time. She calls her mom. Her mom is sick. She has the flu. She is in bed. She is old. She is alone. Her husband is dead. Nobody takes care of her. She does her own shopping. She drives her own car. She says that she is okay. She says she feels better. She thanks her daughter for calling. Okay, friends, this is the, uh, this is the conclusion of today's study. I'll come back to you with another story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.